Hey Hoopa, it's Deanne Lovey. Welcome to day 27 of our 30 days in flow. Today's theme technique energy is to reset. How do you like to find that equilibrium? How do you like to reset? Come back to self, come back to your home, your center. Maybe it's through dance, through breath work creativity or balance we're going to start with balance even though it wasn't anything it wasn't a trick that was on the trick generator originally we're going to go from a balance to a a roll hand spin behind the back pass and then a step through it's gonna be a good one some focus so there are many different ways that you can balance the hoop on many different body parts, but for this one, we are going to use an outstretched arm. And what you want to do is find the pathway on your hand, on your flat platter hand that feels right for you. All of our hands are completely unique. Isn't this beautiful? As hoopers, we spend a lot of time looking at our hands. So here is a time to reset and find balance. An outstretched arm, an outstretched palm, using your second hand to set up your hoop, dropping breath and awareness into your body, and then looking up at the top. 12 o'clock on your hoop, finding steadiness, coming to peace, coming to calm. Notice when the wobbles come in, they're simply part of the dance. Perhaps you can play with letting it go to its limit and folding. Perhaps you can play with letting it go to its limit and pushing up with your fingers, keeping your hand like a platter and seeing if you can push gently up so that the hoop can rest on the tip of your fingers and just playing there with your right hand, your left hand. As you do this, as you come into this reset mode, Notice where your feet are. Notice the texture, the flavor of your hips, your belly, and your breath. Softening your jaw, relaxing. Can you bring some movement in? What happens when we rock the boat? Can you connect with some tension in your body and through this peaceful practice, Perhaps letting go of that tension. Maybe you can draw your elbow in close. Maybe you can take it out further. That is a whole practice unto itself. We need to go into a roll from here though. So what we're going to do is find this nourishing balance. And then when you feel ready, you're going to, I'll show you in slow-mo. <laughs> you're going to push your arm, your hand up turn it around sometimes I use my thumb to hook if things aren't going amazingly for me take your arm back and then drop the hoop down this pathway was that an amazing slow-mo <laughs> you can imagine it feels quite different in real time so but you want to take this gentle poise because if you're trying to rush and push your hoop is going to bounce so this gentle poise Push up, rotate, drop down. And what you want to do is start your roll like you would any roll on your love hearts, <laughs> on the inner fleshy part of your forearm. Because if you simply drop from this height and you don't have any contact, it's probably going to hit you in the chest and then bounce and ricochet. So if you can, Gently lean back and let your roll begin on your outstretched arm. Have a play or come back to balance if you like. So pushing up, rotate your hand and drop and roll. And then eventually you won't have to have that pause there. So, but take your time, no rushing. Then when it comes on to your second hand, you're going to spin. I'm on my left hand spinning to the right. So I'm going to turn. We're going into our behind the back pass. 
There we go, 360. So see if you can go balance, two, roll, spin, behind the back pass, and coming back to center. And if all of that just feels like a lot, come back to balance. Reset anytime you need. Push up when you feel ready. Staying connected with your hoop. Oh, staying connected with your hoop. Don't get distracted like I just did. Spin behind the back pass. Back to the front. Can anyone remember what the final trick was for today? <laughs> I am so reset. I am so balanced that none of it matters anymore. There we go. You can play. You can add that on. You can create, tag on any move. Oh, I remembered. My brain let me remember. It's a step through. Okay, so you ready? From behind the back pass, I'm going to pass the hoop into my right hand and then I'm going to step through. So I squeeze the hoop and I want to step in front of my hand, bring my second hand thumb towards my body and step all the way. You can make that into a continuous step through. So the hoop is spinning backwards on my right hand. Squeeze step through with my right leg and head. Left thumb goes towards my body. Spin back, step through, spin back, step through. It's more like a swim back, this continuous step through. So, so blissed out that I almost forgot. Balance, roll, hand spin, behind the back pass, step through. Oh, the perfect reset. <laughs> okay, it is time to flow with some tunes. If it feels good for you, you may just stay simply in this balanced awareness or rolling through the moves. reset that balance I just had this vision of you all shouting at me the, the final trick <laughs> when I couldn't remember it thank you so much for your love and support always I hope that you enjoyed today's I am going to see you tomorrow day 28 big love Mwah.